Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new LTDs on Thursday, of course. As you guys probably already know, that is kind of the deal with Thursdays. As well as some most feared news and some exciting info. So, guys, stay tuned for that. We got a card reveal from last night. You guys probably saw. We'll be showing you guys that in today's video as well. But, guys, we'll get into that as the video does go on. But for now, let's get into the intro. Let's talk about these brand new LTDs. And then, of course, we'll get to most feared and so on and so forth. Now, guys, for today's LTDs, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good cards. I'm gonna show you the stats, show you guys what I think, put the cams and ability, see how everything's gonna look on them as per usual. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure to blow, join the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and of course turn on the noti bell once you do all those things you're entered to be shouted out. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Edwiger or Rodriguez. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. And of course, if you guys need coins, pick up these new LTDs, or for most fear that's coming tomorrow, make sure to turn below, and of course. Pick up some coins at mugreserve.com. Super cheap, super discounted. Use code Poodle fifty percent off. But let's head over to the auction block. Let's go check for these cards, see if they're up. Now I'll show you guys the stats. Now, what should you be pulling for them, guys? Do I think it's ever worth pulling for LTDs? Not really. I mean, I mean, I, I'm I come from a background of never pulling them in like eight plus years. So for me, it's like I'd rather just buy them for the most part. But I can see where some people may actually have some excitement out of trying to get them. It may just not be me. Sometimes they're not even in packs, which is oh, that's always fun too. And they're just they're just not in packs, so uh, it doesn't even matter. Like you try pulling them and they're not in packs, so you end up just getting screwed. Now they're not up on the block yet. It could take some time, and they're probably not in packs as well. You guys already know the deal with these, but I'm gonna show you guys the screenshots. So I'm talking about the whole most weird stuff. But let's go on over to that. All right, guys. So first we have 92 overall Ryan Ramsick for the New Orleans Saints. He's a right tackle. Always one of the best right tackles in Madden uh, franchise in regular rosters. Now, Mutt's always weird because sometimes the best players don't get the upgrades at the right times. Now, Ryan Ramsick's actually getting it at a great time where that's going to be the best right tackle. I'm pretty sure in Madden right now, which means more than likely we're going to be getting a legend Dan Deardorff this weekend. More than, you know, you know how Madden works. 87 strength, 94 awareness is amazing, 93 pa uh, pass block amazing, 92 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 90 run block power, 90 run block finesse. He's an awesome right tackle. He can, he's going to make sure you don't get killed off the edge as well as make sure that you are properly pushing the pile and driving your feet when you're trying to run the ball behind him i think he's a super solid right tackle now of course you could power up and come up but i really don't think you need to like he's just already that good like i don't know at what point like the you know diminishing uh results or whatever it's called diminishing return at what point do you keep going up in cams and overalls here and he actually gets better you know what i mean because he already saw the threshold and again that's the worst thing on madden once you hit threshold i guess like the the look of a 90 a 90 versus 94 is kind of very similar but kept up and powered up with zone run. You can get all his running ups like 92 across the board, 93, 94 ish, depending on which one you use. Or if you use a certain one, you could also get his pass blocking ups like 94, 95, over here like 95, and then over here like 94. So that's pretty solid. Again, the strength's not going to go up too much, but the card in general can get really, really good already. He's all threshold. So you don't really got to waste coins powering up or anything. So if you can't just find him stock on the block for a good price, I wouldn't be opposed to getting it because of how good he already is stocked. Like, now what's a good price for him? Considering he's all threshold, doesn't need power up or anything, he's going to be pretty valuable because people are going to know that. So I'd say, what's a good price for his card, not not looking at, at tiers and everything, he's probably a good 400k card, 350k card. But because people are going to know that he's no, you know, no th all threshold and everything, he's probably going to go for like 450 and up, at least at the beginning. Uh, can he come down to that? Probably. But next up, we have Marlon Humphrey, 92 overall cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens. He's been balling in real life. He's been balling last year. He's just been balling. But this year, he's been doing really good already. And he's a part of a really juiced Ravens defense. Like, that defense has been swarming. Could it be matchups? Possibly. But the defense is good nonetheless. Losing Earl Thomas didn't hurt him much as I thought it would. Um, let's see. 92 overall. Can, of course, be powered up. And he's an LTD. 90 speed. Now, that speed's kind of low. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping for, like, a 91 speed. Maybe even a 92. But 90 speed, I get it. He's not the fastest guy. Well, let me rephrase that. He's fast. He's just not the fastest guy on the field, which I guess to have those 92, 93 speed, you have to be the fastest guy like on the field. But powered up and chemmed up. Can't get to the 91 speed, so that's good. But 91 excel, 85 agility, 84 jumping, 92 play rec, 93 man, 85 zone, 92 press. So the card overall looks super solid. Now the zone's a bit low. Now can that get up to 90? It can. You gotta power him up and chem him up with lockdown. He will get to, I believe, a 90 zone. So that's great, guys. He can get to 90 zone like 97. 
98 man coverage. I don't know, is it plus five? If it's plus five, he gets like a 98 man coverage, he gets like 97 press. Um, actually, if it's plus five, he gets a 99 man coverage because he can pem dunk. Guys, Marlon Humphrey is low key going to be the best cornerback in the game. It's just the speed. Like, I don't know how that speed is going to affect him. I don't know, if, like 91 speed. Like, obviously, DRC is going to have like a 93, I believe. And then we got Antonio Cromarty, who is like 92. But that 90 speed is good. So, I gotta, I gotta see it on the field to, to believe it, but this car could be super glitchy, guys. Because if he can get the 91 speed, plus like 90 zone, 98 to 99 man, 97 to 98 press, and then he can also get some other great abilities and stuff, this car could be deadly. This car could be really good. But now let's get into the most feared stuff. Troy Palomalu was the guy that was, uh, of course, uh, tweeted out last night or leaked, per se. Because at first he was leaked, supposedly, and then now we, gotta, we were given his card art and he was given out last night. But. 92 overall Troy Palomalo has scary sharp. So whenever we're getting the return of the format, right? Scary sharp, scary fast, scary strong more than likely. So that's that's cool to see. So Troy Palomalo is gonna be scary sharp. Now the issue with scary sharp is they never have the most athletic cards, which because they're scary sharp. They're supposed to be like cerebral play, players, like smart on the field, they make the plays. So Troy Palomalo, 92 overall. The card art's cool, I like it. It's the spider webs, the branches. That's cool. There's a nine behind it, which is kind of interesting to see. I wonder what that stands for. But moving on, I like the card art. Troy Palomalo, of course, is super cool. 90 speed great 90 speed's great now the thing with 90 speed is again again just like marlon humphrey a bit on the slower side but power him up so he can't get to 91 but he's 92 excel 89 tackle 92 play rec 91 pursuit 78 man 90 zone 90 hit power so kept up and powered up he can get to like a 95 ish 96 zone 91 hit power play rec can get up there more of course as well the speed's great i think overall is pretty good with this car but the only issue i'm having here right is he an upgrade like that kind of sucks to see right because here's the thing first off we already have 90 overall cards in the game. I feel like a seasonal most feared promo should definitely bring about an entirely new overall threshold, like 93s. So that's the first upsetting thing. The thing is, is he a real upgrade even beyond that? Like Jamal, uh, I know, what's it called? Jamal Adams, I think has the same speed, gets the man zone and high power threshold. So I really don't know where they lose the plus 10 man coverage on these cards at. And Jamal Adams is taller. I don't think Troy Polamalu is all that great personally. Cool card, cool player great name i don't know if he's all good now he does play really well but he's also super tiny so he's super tiny he's gonna be just as fast as strong saves we have in the game ready at lower overalls and he has worse man so i know it really depends i guess how he plays but at the moment scary sharp does not look like the, the master does not look like he's gonna be a must-have player but guys now let's get to some of the most feared news guys for most of it, we have a special stream tonight at 7 p.m eastern time so you guys know the deal that does mean we're going to get all the most feared info all the players all the stats all the formatting everything tonight at of course 7 p.m eastern time so definitely stay tuned for that guys gonna be fun you know you know those streams are fun they're gonna be interesting we're gonna get we're gonna know everything so as of tonight guys most beards officially here we're gonna be getting it tomorrow morning of course that's kind of how those things work I, I, I assumed it'd be friday though we kind of always assume that but moving on from that guys it's gonna be fun i definitely recommend you go there so you guys are caught up and of course you know i'll be making a video going over everything more than likely i don't get caught up in anything i'll be making a video for you guys so you guys can go ahead and know everything I'll, I'll react to it, go over the stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. I hate that they're at 7 p.m. I really don't like that time, personally. Just kind of, like, awkwardly in the middle of, like, dinner time or you're doing something or you're out. You know, I don't like the time, but it is what it is. But it's fun. So, we got one master. I assume we're going to... I hope we get a reveal of Calvin tonight. I'm, I'm hoping for a Calvin, a Moss, or a Saquon Barkley. That's kind of what I'm waiting for. Hopefully, we see one of them. But that's about it for the video, guys. If you're already into the channel and want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and, of course, turn on that noti bell. If you haven't already, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Start loading up on coins now so you guys can be ready to go to pick up all these new banger cards in Most Fear tomorrow. Use code Poodle for 15% off. And if you guys aren't max level or anything, or you want some solo grinding done, they also offer a solo grinding service on there as well. So go ahead and use that. If guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Uh, that's about it. I have one more video coming for you guys today. And then, of course, the stream later at 7 p.m., which is separate later on. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.